The other problem of water is that we are the last dam that was built for Harare or the greater Harare area was built in 1976. So that was the last time a dam was built for Harare. Now, that is Darwin Dam. It means that we are now 3 million people and no other dam was built. We are hearing of Kunji, it wasn't built. All the dams that have been built have been built in areas where people don't stay. So Toko Mkosi and all those other dams, they don't even know what to do with the water. They want to export it to South Africa and so forth, and they are still making plans as to what to do with the water. But we need the Kunji to be built. We need a canal to move from the dams that have been built in Marondera to come to Mavuku. It's only about 100 kilometers. <coughs> if we get that canal, we can water the whole of the eastern Harare, Chitungwiza, and Rua that we give water to. They don't have their own water, Chitungwiza. Chitungwiza was supposed to have had a dam called Muda Dam. It hasn't been built. Musami Dam, which was supposed to be built just higher up there, has not been built. So we don't have new water sources, 1976. We have now increased to 3 point something million to 4 million people, but we did not bother to build a new water source for the greater Harare. We've had a water issue for the past two weeks. Uh, the water issue for the past two weeks has not been necessitated by the council issues. We have got a target of producing 450 megaliters by the end of this year. As currently, two weeks before, we were producing around 350 megaliters. And that allowed us to be able to give a greater percentage of Harare water for some of them four days a week, for some of them at least twice a, a, a week. What then happened is that we get our, our chemicals from Zinfos, which is a government parastatal normally called Kemplex. Now this government parastatal, you will recall it is a parastatal which is very old, which was constructed in the 1970s, if not in the 1980s. So there are capacity issues there. We get a chemical called aluminium sulfate. Aluminium sulfate is mixed with sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is not produced in Zimbabwe, it is produced in South Africa, and we have to pay it using foreign currency. And that is where the rub is, where the problem is. All of a sudden, we were advised by Zimfos that they were no longer going to be able to deliver the four trucks that we get per day to be able to be producing a 350 megaliters per day. Uh, we produce about 70 megaliters at Prince Edward, and we've got a capacity to go to 300 and something at Morton Jeffries. So we then had no option but to shut down the plant. We could not get a single truck. And the problem is that they could not get sulfuric acid from South Africa. And that sulfuric acid, the supplier was not giving them until they paid foreign currency. They needed to get foreign currency from the Reserve Bank, which they were not getting. We were then called to an emergency meeting, and I should say that on this one, because it is water, there is no politics about it. The Ministry of Local Government and ourselves and the provincial office were working together to try and solve this problem. Everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 18th of August uh, 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. So guys, I just uh, watched uh, small clips of um, Mayor of Harare, uh, Jacob Mafume, is explaining the situation uh, Since uh, 1976, yes, uh, Vese maton click maton plana wakanga wata basa since then apana wana kambo sumbo fungo kuti in 20 years time in 30 years time arale nyinge akura nyinge akudo maybe 2 or 3 madem yomfura anika madi zezi jayango budget kwa makoresa ya chinzi zonizi kuna waka demu kutia sex 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 kutia
I married the uncle Chikoro Amu Wongo Zong. Zong the same people who are supposed to be planning those things, but poor ma bonuses, ma perks, and everything. And it apart, uh, this situation has also affected a lot of uh, business in Harare, Panyamvura, and it because uh, the board of uh, control for cricket in India, BCCI is reported they advise its players who are currently in Zimbabwe to take quick showers and catch their pool sessions to save water. India are currently in Zimbabwe for a three match ODI series against the host starting Thursday in Harare. The tour comes at a time when there's been no running water for over three days in many parts of Harare. In most areas, people are queuing up for drinking water at bowls. A BCCI official said they've asked the team to be sparing in their use of water. Yes, the water situation in Harare is severe and the players have been informed about that. He said they have been asked not to waste water at any cost and take bath for as little time as possible. Also, pool sessions have been cut down to save water. Another mayor, Jacob Mafume, recently attributed the crisis to the lack of water treatment chemicals. Another was allocated uh, 2 billion as Mabu dollar and has thus far received 73 million Zimbabwe dollar in devolution funds from Treasury. Independent Norton legislator Temba Mriskwa tore into local government minister Julia Moyo for failing to support the local authority. It is saddening to notice that local government minister can watch the waterworks of our country's capital completely shut down without showing much concern, Mriskwa said on Twitter. He is a minister who is clinging on to devolution funds and in the process in the process incapacitating Harare city's crucial services like water treatment thereby exposing millions of residents to diseases this is the same men who corruptly pushed for the purchase and installation of water pumps the big question is what is the purpose of water pumps when you don't have water a government of, of the people cannot afford to stand in watch while july is running riot exposing millions of people to diseases this madness needs to be stopped. And uh, so I do agree 100% uh, with uh, Temba Mulisko. And the sad part is that uh, your minister, Mbakwa Wane Wane Bo, and it's like, it's like, I'm a media pa, pa jiborani, I'm a geto to achieve in Burayo. Wane 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 Boro, Diogo Nongwari, Wane Wane Bo, Wane Wane Solar Panel, it's like, a lot of shedding our tombo in the world. And it's like, this is a critical, critical issue that the government needs to intervene. And uh, yes, they need to intervene by Nyayam Vura, because, ah, uh, paka yipa, and I wonder how to spend on Goa, or a mirror up on my balls, but she cheer on Vura, she mukira moksensin, Jacar and Dopa and Tangera exploitation by Yavanu Kazin. Now, one room and then walk to advantage with Jano, a Kalodam Vura, a neutral favor. And I so we hope that this situation is uh, restored as soon as possible because we can't go on and on like this. This is Nam Vura, like a chain, a good it Kwani Sequita. Uh, our day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, things that you need to do using water. And I got some very good kosha. And they say water is life. And you show I'm very pain. No shy can do so. No, no, I'm not very good at kosha. Because we too big. I'm very good. Too gaze. I'm very good. When you toilet, you need to be very good. You are so good. So, I'm not going to do my one chat. But anyway, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Millen Gatsemi TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload thank you very much to uh, zim daily for those videos uh, which you captured uh arare mayor of uh, jacob mafumi which explained the whole situation in panyayam vura hope the situation will be restored as quick as possible this is a uh, daily news breaking news everyday news remember to like share comment and follow bless up